Since the earliest days of aviation, bush planes have been a lifeline this far north, delivering the few supplies that settlers couldn't find in nature, like medicine and fuel. How are you? Fine. When we Jack Trap was trying to find it, it was covered in snow and got my hand in there. Oh. Yeah. It, yeah. It smacked it up pretty good. Yeah, no doubt. Rick kind of a jack of all trades. He's a grain farmer, he's got a buffalo farm, he flies. He's the guy everyone goes to for help in the neighborhood. Well, I can load these up for you. Oh, I'll give a hand, I got one good hand. Okay. So what's new with you? Well, we've got a, a buffalo out. Huh. He's been sighted along the river in a few few spots. Wow. We haven't had any luck. We've tried getting them, but it's not happening. I'm responsible for them, so I gotta gotta make sure we get them. Yeah. Rick is not only a bush pilot, but a buffalo meat farmer. If his escape bison reaches a town and causes damage or injury, he is liable for its actions. You said he was seen like recently here? Yeah, very recently, just yesterday. Yeah. Coming from the south, heading up further north then? Yeah, there? he seems to be working his way north. If you guys can get on him, he's yours. I'll try to give you a hand with that. All right. Buffalo are not native to the area, but are known to roam great distances and are very adapted to winter conditions. Upwards of 2,000 pounds, a healthy bison could provide Dale and Shane with all the meat they'll need. If there's a buffalo loose nearby, we want it. 